Now Trilogy can win with a two. The captain against Mobley. Jalajek completes the comeback and Trilogy with a huge win. What's up everybody? It's your boy Q Hicks and I'm back with another video on week seven of the big three. Y'all already know what time it is. If this is your first time on the channel, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. Now let's dive into it. Before we dive into the games, four teams did not play. Aliens, Bivouac, Enemies, and Three's Company all were out of playoff contention coming into week seven. And because of concerns about COVID and the protocols, the big three thought they weren't necessary. So every game for this week would basically be early playoff matchups and teams fighting to stay in playoff contention. In the first game of the week, we had Tri-State vs. Killer Threes. It was a huge game for both teams sitting at 4-2, and, and the Killer Threes came into the game knowing it was going to be a dogfight and got up 14-7 early. Midway through the first, Tri-State would match Killer Threes' energy and go on an 11-4 run and would eventually take the lead going into halftime after some huge buckets by Justin Dittman, while Dante Green scored 15 first-half points for the Killer Threes. To start the second half, Jay Rich started to impose his will on the game, scoring 7 quick points and CJ Watson would score 9 second half points for the Killer Threes to keep them in the game. But Tri-State just upped their intensity. They went on a 17-4 run in the middle of the half, Larry Sanders was making big defensive plays, Justin Dentman continued to make shots, and Sanders would seal the game with a free throw. Dentman finished the game with 19 points while Jason Richardson chipped in with 14. Next we had Power vs Trilogy. Power was fighting to keep their playoff hopes alive and they came out on a 12-4 run to start the game behind Dusan Bullet's quick 10 points. Trilogy really couldn't get anything to go in the half, but Power was on point and only missed a handful of shots in the first half, and Bullet and Derek Byers were combined for 24 of the team's 26 first half points. In the second half, Power would keep their foot on the gas and would grow their lead to 13. But Trilogy would go on a 14-4 run to cut the lead to three led by Jared Jack and Amir Johnson. And after some big shots by Jack down the stretch, the score was 48-47, Trilogy was up. After a missed three by Bullet, Jared Jack would seal the W with a jumper to complete the comeback. Jack would finish with 27 while Bullet finished with 24. This loss knocks Power out of the playoff race while Trilogy moves closer to clinching a spot in the Bahamas. Moving on, we have the Ball Hogs versus the Three-Headed Monsters. This was a real back and forth first half. Leandro Barbosa would score 15 points early for the Ball Hogs, while Reggie Evans and Kevin Murphy combined for all of Three-Headed Monsters' 25 first half points, and it was a one point game at halftime. The second half started out all Three-Headed Monsters. Kevin Murphy scored a quick nine points, and the Three-Headed Monsters would stretch the lead out to eight midway through the half. The Ball Hogs would pull the game within three, but the three-headed monsters would seal the deal with a Kevin Murphy bank shot. Reggie Evans finished with 26 and Kevin Murphy had 21, while Leandro Barbosa ended with 21 points, nine rebounds, and seven assists. And the Ball Hogs would be eliminated from the playoffs with this loss. And lastly, we had Triplets versus the Ghost Ballers. With MVP candidate Mike Taylor out for the year, the Ghost Ballers looked out of it from the jump, and the game got ugly quick. The triplets smacked them in the mouth early with a 20-4 run and didn't look back. The game at one point was 49-19 and it ended on a Sajirio Gibson free throw. Joe Johnson only had 14 points and Allen Anderson was the high man with 22. Moving on to player of the week, it is Jared Jack scoring 27 points and a big win versus Power to move his team to 5-2. And for moment of the week, it is Jared Jack's game winning jumper to seal the comeback. And just like last week, we don't have any games to predict, so we're just going to run through the standings. The top four seeds go to the playoffs, so if they were to start the day, it would be the Triplets, Trilogy, Tri-State, and the Three-Headed Monsters. All have five or more wins, but there's still one more week left, and the Killer Threes and the Ghost Ballers still have a chance, which sets up for an exciting week eight. Now let's move on to the MVP standings. The biggest change is Jared Jack jumping all the way to number two. In his last few games, he's averaging 24 points and he has been the engine for the Trilogy team this entire season. And I just wanna thank you guys for watching. If you got all the way to the end, I really rock with you. If this is your first time on the channel, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and definitely let me know what you would like to see next. And we out. Peace.